one look in her eyes, and it makes you feel better. A new funeral home professional is getting great reviews. CBS 2's Lou Young has the story from White Plains. The newest employee at this stately funeral home on Maple Avenue isn't human. At this place where mourners come to say goodbye to the dead and comfort the living, a professionally trained labradoodle named Lulu has been brought in to deliver a little comfort of her own. It works. I think the more alone you are, the more necessary it is to make a connection with this type of therapy. I, I call it therapy, if that's the right word. It's a therapy dog. Um, and I think it's a beautiful thing. We've seen comfort dogs before in hospitals, at disaster scenes, even in courtrooms, but few places are in as consistent need of comfort as a funeral home. I was stuck in an airport. A uh, flight was delayed about five hours and tensions were high, people were losing their patience, and a woman walked by with a little Maltese, and I just watched the wave of calm that came over everyone. Matthew Fiorello has seen mourners gravitating to the funeral home's bird aviary, and after the experience at the airport, figured a little physical contact with a hypoallergenic pooch might be even more productive. Lulu seems to dissolve tension and help people stay positive at a difficult time. You can see she's uh, relaxing herself. Is so, you at ease? Yes, it is, yeah. Kind of nice. It's wonderful. It really is. And Lulu seems to understand that not everyone's a dog lover, so she's just as happy to hang out in the office if her services aren't needed. The owner says he'll consider adding dogs to the mix if the business expands, but rules out comfort cats, figuring the birds might be a distraction. We're in White Plains, Lou Young, CBS 2 News. And like most trained dogs, comfort dogs, Lulu knows she is on the job when her handler puts that special vest on her. When she's not wearing it, she knows she's just another dog.